Okay, so this is it mostly finished. Um, I guess I kind of skipped a few steps on this thing, but essentially I made this base for it. I glued that block down. I gave it a hinge just in case I ever need to work on it. Yeah, granted, it kind of looks horrible with the tape in there, but I needed it to be able to flip down flat. All of the switches work. Uh, Hannah's gonna get to work on trying to get the LEDs to work themselves. I've kind of given up on that idea. Um, but all the switches work. We got power on, we got white right and left, uh, TV, right light, or left, right, whatever. And then that's what it looks like inside. We got this glued down, this glued down, and this glued down. Got a hinge. All I gotta do is gotta drill the holes. And then I got to, uh, what's the word, countersink the holes. And then, uh, mount it. That's it. And I'm done. Extended a couple wires so it makes it a little easier. Um, yeah, that's it. And just in case you didn't believe me that this setup all works with the switch box, let's turn white. White light. On either side. Let's turn it all off. Okay, TV, left side, right side. So we wanted to wire LED diodes into this and we encountered a small issue. The diodes that we use only take 3 volts, whereas the power source we're using takes 12. So we bought some resistors, these are 47 ohms, 470 ohms, and we'll be attaching those to every single light. I was originally going to wire them in sequence so that each of the lights would act as their own resistors, but that would not have actually worked. I had the small idea of attaching one wire to the positive and one resistor to that so that when I had one light on it would just the same flow would go to all of the lights. Um, in this instance though we will most likely have more lights on than we'll have them off so we're just gonna wire a whole bunch of resistors in here why not. So this is the diagram I came up with for the LEDs. You're going to have the 12 volt battery, but then it has to go over a at least a 470 ohm resistor to get 3 volts for the LED. Now make sure you take note of the positive and the negative ends on the diode. The long end is always going to be positive. And then you just really follow the diagram from there. You can watch me do it if you want to though. So we're starting out with the three bottom ones. We have these as green diodes because they're just the power for the left and the right, lights in the back, and then the TV up in the front. So we're going to wire the LEDs directly to the negative port and then we're going to wire a resistor between the LED and the positive port as the diagram explained. nice and neat is I folded the wires in on themselves and now we're gonna tape over it with some electrical tape. If you have shrink wrap it will work much better than the electrical tape 
Um, we didn't have it at the time. Our package keeps getting delayed somehow. So we're just using electrical tape as of right now. It works about the same. It just looks nowhere near as professional and it leaves a little sticky residue on the wires when you're done with it, but... So we've just plugged this in, it's a very short cord, um, I have them wired on the first three, as of right now they are turned off, let's see what happens. So we turn the first one, that one was working, and they all three work, first try. Alright, so we just tested it out, all three of them work, first try. Now we're just gonna super glue these lights in real quick so I have a little bit of extra room to work on the other ones if I can find it. There we are. Now apparently we didn't get any actual footage of the LEDs themselves working, but they do work. They stopped working shortly afterwards and it probably has something to do with that giant positive end ball I was making out of solder. Um, we plan to fix that later, but for now the lights work and that's all that really matters. <laughs> 